In all of my research and note-taking to find out who Lady Whistledown is, I have noted some other crucial observations of this surrounding society. My findings are as follows. <clears throat> Members of my sex are forced to wear feathers atop our heads as if we were delicate birds with nothing to achieve. We appear to be nothing if not a pretty thing that men may gaze upon and listen to its chirps without ever fully inquiring into what exists in our minds. A woman is much more fit with a feather in her hand and a thought in her head. I should rather fly far away from my debut this season than stay around to squawk for the sake of expectations. Potential lead, the printer's apprentice. Though I do find such a kindred spirit in none other than a printer's apprentice, he has been of no help whatsoever in my pursuit of Lady Whistledown. He has, however, shared with me a plethora of remarkable books and thoughtful pieces. I remain wary, for maybe this is all but a ruse to throw me from the proper course toward discovery. If so, it should prove a rather effective method, had this possibility not crossed my mind. I have found myself more than once lost in thought of him, or rather of some thinking I found in a column he has shared. This is precisely why a woman is to keep her mind sharp. In my pursuit of Lady Whistledown, I have of late begun to ponder whether or not I shall focus on other women of society who also appear keen on an independent life of her own design. Who in society also wishes to forsake the gruelling charade of this social season? Miss Kate Sharma. She is the eldest of two daughters. Their family has just joined the ton for this social season. I do enjoy her company, almost as much as she seems to dislike the company of Anthony. But given her absence last season, she deems an unlikely candidate. Perhaps it should be worthwhile to observe who Miss Kate does enjoy spending time with. Her sister, Miss Edwina Sharma, does seem to be more invested in the ways of the ton than her sister, so will be of no help, I am certain. One cannot fault her for that, however. To be swept up in the social season happens to even the most intelligent members of our sex. <laughs> <laughs>